Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Udo technical developer. So in this video we are going to talk about how to call uh, Udo methods uh, using XML or PC or you can say external API. So in the previous video we have discussed about how to authenticate and to get the UID so that we can uh, call the methods on the basis of that UID. So uh, in this in this case we are going to use the endpoint object uh, which will be used uh, to call the methods uh, through execute kw rpc function. So uh, these are the parameters that will be passed uh, to any uh, request like this uh, uh, rpc function. So uh, first of all uh, we have already uh, created the python file and already created these uh, parameters. So uh, this, uh, so we just need to add, like we just want to read uh, the data from a certain table, and uh, we can just do it like this. And uh, in this case, first of all, we will just uh, call a Python, like in Udo, a, a, an Udo method, which is uh, like check access right. So what this more method does. Uh, this method uh, is uh, used to check whether the user has the access to this model, to this table or not. So uh, here uh, we need to uh, use it as model. This is the variable. And then we need to use xmlpc.client.serverProgby. This is the new uh, like object is the new endpoint that we need to use and URL is the same. So uh, and here we need to pass these positional uh, parameters which is db uid uh, uid is just uh, we got from here and this is the password and then we need to pass the model like where this method is defined and then we need to add the method name so i will just explain it by uh, passing some further methods so this is uh, the request like what we want to do we want to check the read access okay and this exception is raised like what it needs to be returned in case of error. So it needs to return a false. So false means that uh, the user don't have access to this model. So let me just uh, return it as a result and then print the result on the console. Okay. Print result. Okay. So uh, let me just execute this file. Okay. Sorry this execute it so here you can see it returns true this means that this user have the access to this registered partner model so let me just uh, show you demonstrate you just by calling uh, another method which is search so search means to return the ids of the records of a specific model so if i go to udo and let me check the uh, partners so these are the customers uh, which model is raised at partner so I need to check the records inside this model. So what I will do is uh, to just uh, copy it and then uh, paste it. So I will uh, save it in a variable like partner IDs, something like this. And so I have already uh, created this uh, model variable. So I, I have passed the model name is raise.partner, which is uh, this one, uh, this one. And then I have passed like the search method which will return the number, the IDs, the total IDs of the records. So here is the uh, domain. So if I don't want to uh, pass any domain, I can just keep it as empty. Okay. So let me just try to print this uh, on the console partner IDs like this. And let me execute this file. So here you can see it returns all the ids are that are present in this database so for example if i remove this filter it will show you 38 ids so these are the 38 ids so actually we need to see uh, the ids of where which are companies so this means that where the is company is uh, true so let me just for example show you how you can do so is company is true so how many record we have in the database where is uh, company is true so let me just print uh, this data okay so you can see it's just return nine records so uh, this is uh, how you uh, how you can call uh, the methods that are defined in Udo so there are 
multiple methods that you can call it so like um, and in case of search there is one more thing is uh, like the offset and the limit uh, parameters what is the purpose of this so let me just edit uh, here and then I will explain what is the purpose of it okay so uh, actually the purpose of offset and limit means to return some limited records so offset 10 means uh, to start the uh, reading from the 10th record and then uh, how many records to be written like five records so let me just uh, keep it as it is and then let me execute the file so it will return an empty uh, uh, list so why it returns the empty list because uh, under this condition like companies do there are only nine records so it cannot return there is no uh, there is no record on the 10th of uh, like uh, after 10 okay on the 10th page okay so this means that return the record of the 10th page and each page should contain five uh, records okay so if i say like start it with one and then return until of and then return five records okay next five records so it will return like this okay you can see so this is the purpose if i say like record return as start from zero and then return 10 records so there are total of nine records so it will just return nine records so because the tenth is not present okay so if i say like uh, make it false so just return those uh, where company is a false okay and then let's see how many records we can get so it will return you 10 records okay uh, so this is how it works like this is how you can get the data as a pagination so another thing is used uh, like another method is to search and like to count the records that we uh, got okay so let me just uh, copy this line and then print it number of uh, we can say partner count equal to this okay so partner count is uh, so this partner count is a method that will be called and it will return an integer which will be the number of records okay print partner count okay so let me just print uh, the data okay it returns 9 okay and if I use this offset and okay, let me just use offset 0 to uh, 5 okay let me try it so here we got an error message so why we got an error message because it does not accept these uh, parameters search count does not accept these uh, parameters okay so this uh, is how you can handle it and you have to handle it at your end like uh, if you got some error so what uh, it needs to be so uh, like this uh, so far we have just uh, understand that how we can uh, read the IDs of the records but in this case we can also read the data the full data uh, like uh, for example if I just copy it this one and just paste it here like this so these are the IDs which we can copy from here okay these are the IDs which needs to be uh, like uh, and so let me just explain uh, it just after adding the print statement print data okay so uh, the same way like we have passed the DB user ID and then password model and then read is the method name that will read the data this is the parameter like which data we want to read is the num the IDs that we need to read so whatever is returned from here needs to pass here these are the fields that we need we want to read so here are the like name country id and comments so for example if i want to uh, read some more data like the email uh, email website and then phone number so let me just add uh, those data also so how i can add it here email uh, phone so uh, you just need to enter uh, the technical name of the field so let me just uh, show you how you can find the technical name of the field is uh, just you need to activate the debug mode first okay 
and uh, then you will be able to technical name by bringing the cursor or that field so here you can see the technical name is phone and in this case the technical name is mobile so you can see the technical field name like this so if i execute this file okay so here you can see it will return the data which we requested so what it returns like uh, this is the id of the record name of the record is this one country id is this one comment is false email is this one and phone is this one and then the second record so it will return the data in this format okay so let uh, let me go uh, forward so this is how you can uh, read the data and in the next video we will uh, discuss how you can uh, how you can get the metadata of uh, any table and we can also we will also deep into uh, read the data of the sales order and also the data of the invoices so we can just uh, like the read of the read the transactional data and uh, in the next video we will also discuss how to create uh, like sales order invoices from the uh, XML RPC using some um, external API calls. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a huge thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.